Typically, bonding is a really easy procedure. We seldom ever use anesthesia. Yeah, you'll hear a little bit of and you may feel a little vibration, but it's usually pretty fast and pretty easy. My name is Casey Carnage, and I'm getting teeth bonding done today. <laughs> well, basically what happened into why my tooth is chipped, I was at a party last summer, and instead of wasting a cup, I usually just bring a wine bottle because that's what I'm gonna drink for the evening. I hit it too hard when I went to go lift it, and maybe about an hour later, I rubbed my tongue against my tooth and realized it was chipped, and then ran to the bathroom and was like, oh shit. I mean, it's the my front teeth. So it's kind of the first thing that you see when I send in audition tapes or I do photo shoots that I find myself um, doing a little bit more editing or having to retake just to make sure that like it's a little less noticeable. My name is Dr. Bill Dorfman. I am a cosmetic dentist in Century City, California. You know, it started off just as a cosmetic dentist, but it just kind of evolved. In about 1990, we started a company called Discus Dental. We created Zoom and Bright Smile and Night White and Day White and Breatherex and all these products, and that exploded. And at the same time, ABC had this amazing show called Extreme Makeover, and it gave me a platform to actually show all the great things that dentistry does, because before that, Dentistry did not get a very, I would say, positive uh, endorsement from the media, like Little Shop of Horrors and Marathon Man and all these things were, were not very good for dentistry. Hoping that like, you know, the colors match. Who likes to do any kind of procedure? There's always that worry in the back of the mind. Nerves will probably rush in a little bit more once I'm in that chair and like you know, the lights and the doctor saying all these doctor terms I know nothing about. But you know, that's, I'm a little, you know, just a little nervous about that. As far as bonding's concerned, you need to brush and floss your teeth like normal. The only restriction is you cannot bite really hard things right on the bonding. And if you're careful about that, it can last way longer than seven years. I'm not necessarily worried about the tooth shaving. I feel like the doctor knows what he's doing and I'm gonna hope for the best. And if not, then you know, there's Yelp. So we can do something called direct bonding. Basically what I'll do is apply a tooth colored material to your tooth and then once it's on there, it's like a paste, we hit it with a laser and it hardens instantly. Typically when we do any kind of cosmetic procedure, the first thing we do is take before photographs. In order to enhance the bond strength and bonding, we roughen the surface of the tooth. With bonding, we just take a little bit of the top layer of the tooth and kind of roughen it up. Once we do that, we'll etch it. There's a purple etching solution that we apply to the tooth. That purple etch is a 34% phosphoric acid. And what that does is that creates a, a kind of a lattice of, of a micro etching in the tooth. So you, you create these little micro porosities actually in the tooth and those little pores bond to the resin. The resin that we apply is a clear resin and that actually sinks into those little pores and creates the bond in what we call bonding. Once you have that resin on the tooth, you need to activate it with a light. This resin surface is now compatible with the composite material. Composite is a tooth colored paste. Like tooth structure, it's not as hard as tooth structure, but it bonds to the resin that's in the microscopic pores of the tooth. In order to harden the composite paste, we hit it with a blue light. Once the composite material is solid, we go ahead and shape it and polish it to look as much like a natural tooth as possible.
What I expected the treatment going into it to be like, I thought he was gonna like shave my tooth off and like put me under, give me some Novocaine, but he didn't give me any of that. I was wide awake. So when I was working on Casey, I know she was really nervous and she kind of like hid a lot of her emotion. But as soon as the cameras went away, she gave me a big hug and kiss and said, Dr. Bill, I love my smile. And that made it all worthwhile. Working with Dr. Bill Dorfman was very cool. Like he had a lot of personality. He was very comforting. He definitely had a lot of years in what he was doing. So he was very knowledgeable about what he was doing. So I didn't feel like, who's this man in my mouth? He definitely kept me at ease. He was very kind. He was very relatable. He didn't seem like, you know, he was judgy because of my tooth was chipped or anything like that. And I think that's really important to be with a physician that you feel comfortable with. So I was very happy with him. I think my favorite part about doing what I do is just the ability to change people's lives. Like every day, that little bit of bonding we did and that little bit of reshaping took her smile from like a seven to a 10, like off the charts. And that's what she wanted and that's what we gave her. Hey, this is Dr. Bill. Thanks for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here. To subscribe, click here.